Okay, this is Jeff Killian from the Inside Technician. We have just entered a real-time trade here at this one-minute bar at 12.31 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is 12.31 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Right here, the fill was a quarter of a point below the uh, support break area we were looking for. This level right here at 1493.50, filled at 1493.25. Excuse me. Yes. Confirmed 1493.25. Okay. The reason why this trade was taken is because of the market run-up this morning looking for the sell-off to the downside. The levels in the 15-minute charts are clearly laid out right here at this level right here for an initial incremental level at 1492.25 to be hit. Here again is the approximate break area is laid out by the 15-minute uh, charts. Right here is by the open of 10.15 a.m. bar. That price is 1493.75. Price is traded through. And we're looking for the ultimate level always. The MACD cross came right here most recently within this bar that we're playing in right now. The gap down between the actual bar located here at 12.30 p.m. and where it ended. And the new bar comes into play at 12.45, but it's a gap showing us the weakness that we needed. The stochastics momentum index cross and a trend line here clearly indicated go situation here we have uh, the volume that came in here after the initial sell-off more selling down close more selling more selling and the selling here again at 12.31 to be in the trade 12.31 to be in the trade trend line break on money flow EMAs crossed here on the bar 12.30 p.m. bar right here Here's your gap down. Negative downturn from shaking money flow. We are in this trade. I need to contact someone, a, uh, a private uh, trader in the executive mentorship program. We were just talking about this, and he knows I'm in this trade, so I have to get this off to him, and uh, we'll get him in the room. Hang on one moment, everyone. Okay, let's do it. One moment, bear with me. <clears throat> Okay, that's the way. <clears throat> now trading at the level that was projected here by the 15-minute charts between 9.45 and 10 a.m. We are short this trade in a 12.31 p.m. filled at 14.93.25 real time. A trade taken by the smart money trading methodology that I have designed and that we use exclusively here at the Inside Technician to teach people how to find, track, and trade the smart money as well. The ultimate price profit target in this case is laid out by these three bars broadcasted out into the future. We'll paint this red. Okay. That number, as outlined by the last of these three bars, on the open is 1489.50. So let's just fly that in.
Hello, Fred. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, I, I am. You. Okay, go ahead. I heard you on the fourteen eighty nine fifty. Yeah. Um, what's happening is here. I'm recording this. This will probably more than likely get posted to YouTube. Uh, and uh, we'll talk about this tonight under the nightly market intelligence report. But it's actually good that you're here, you're good with us, and we're studying today, and you're working with me today. Uh, for those of you that are just joining us um, for this uh, recording, the time is now 12.38 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I ran through the stats on this trade, or not the stats, the... Uh, the indicator configurations, Fred, before you walked into the room, and uh, I talked all about the setup for the trade. So for those that are with us, um, they're aware of why this trade was taken. What I want to point out is, again, the blow-off volume here, sell, 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 and the icing on the cake for the precision entry is obviously on the one-minute bar here traded. 10,512 contracts right here in this bar, and this is exactly where we got in at 12.31 p.m. Uh, at 14.93.25 Eastern Standard Time. Now, Fred, you were with me at, at that exact time. Yes. Um, what were we talking about this morning, and how does that relate to what has happened just in the past 20 minutes? Well, we were talking about how the market continued to go up, and we were waiting for a blow-off and a retracement. Okay. We have Fred C. with us today. Fred, again, is in the Executive Ministry Program. This is his uh, third segment. We have another gap down here indicating more weakness. Good for us because we're short in the trade, 12.31 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, fill the 1493.25, price is trading marked to the market, 1491. 1491.25. Now, if we look at the 15-minute charts, since we're already in the money, and things are moving down, more volume coming in to push this trade to the downside. The sell-off is much more evident here. The gap down indicated the additional weakness on the 15-minute side that was not as evident on the one-minute side. Now, our preferred price profit target to the downside, okay, as we go through these charts and we look at what we really need to get out of this trade is essentially here. We have the 8.45 a.m. close. We have the 9 a.m. close and the 9.15 open. The most recent data points that interrupt the large bar up would be the preferred price profit target. That level is 1489.50. We are in real time in this trade. I think we started the recording two minutes after the trade was taken. We have Fred C. with us. We are recording, documenting the trade in real time. Now, what we were waiting for, the last part of this trade, to come to play was the crossing of the MACD indicator. That finally happened at the time we got into the trade. So all the 15-minute indicator, indicators fired within a very short period of time. The last we were waiting for was the EMAs and then, obviously, the final confirmation through the MACD indicator indicating to us that the trend had officially changed. The early warning came from Stochastic's Momentum Index here. And again, um, we had a money flow break on a trend line established here after a long-term, long-term negative divergence. If we look at this peak as compared to these prices, this peak as compared to these prices, these prices are trading way up as compared to the indicator levels from here to here, and then the indicator level from here to a lower level. So that is a longer-term definite negative divergence indicating prices have traded up on inflated highs and could turn back around, which is exactly what has happened. Now, as it stands right now, the low right here has reached this level, okay, as laid out by previous prices on a 15-minute chart. We need to get down just a little bit lower here in order to have the kind of trade that we want to produce the results that we need. That 
even though we have an up move here, could still be in play. One of two things will happen. It will trade up or trade back down. This is really the first give back since we got in here, uh, here at 1231. A little bit of a give back here. However, the volume that's come in here and the gap down indicates more weakness than this little bit of temporary strength that's coming in. Real time mark to the market 1491.25. S&P 500 E-minis. takes a lot for the MAC, the indicator, to fire. It doesn't just happen. It takes a lot for these EMAs to fire. It takes a lot for this money flow to keep trending down, 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 and down. So, Fred, you have a first-class example of what we teach here, and now you're seeing it happen in real time. But in time you'll be taking these trades as well. You're just about there. One of the hardest working guys I've ever met, ever. Amazing. Just amazing. Okay, so let's do the right thing here. Let's get back here and let's take a hard look at the level on the 15-minute charts right here as witnessed by the open of 9.15. These three prices here again. That is the ultimate price profit target at Fred, where would you say you are now as compared to when you started the study here? Work with me. Uh, I'm almost there. <laughs> Good. How long were you studying before you came across me? Three years, a little more. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're finding a level here at the new 15-minute bar, temporary, after strong sell-off. Some leveling out here, some leveling out here. MACD is still in favor of the downside. Stochastic still has a lot of room to go to the downside, a lot, a lot of room. We're trading 50 contracts on this trade because we were looking for the sell-off. We had everything lined up, including the volume. Let's talk about the move. 12.18 into 
1491.75. We're up two points on E minis. 1491.75. I'd like to see some more volume come in here, something like this, like this. 1247 Eastern, midday sell-off. Now, if I feel for a minute, for a minute, that things may not continue to the downside, I will be out of this trade as fast as I got into it to lock in what I've got. I'm not giving any money back on any day. On any day never. So in order to determine that, let's see how close we are. We know we have a level that's established right here. Okay. On the charts. Could this be the level the price is fine to move sideways and tie up my time? I don't know. But I am looking at a uh, from here to here, this outer point, a trend line that could be found as uh, resistance and prices trade back down or it could trade up here and through it and prices could again climb to the upside but I see no evidence of that happening at this moment based on the 15 minute indicators that I'm looking at and so if the 15 minute indicators are the mother of all intraday time frames we're still doing the right thing by staying in this trade I would like to see some more volume come through to get through this level here at 1490 50 to be exact. Give me some more conviction to stay in this trade. Jeff Killian from the Inside Technician, Chief Market Strategist, recording live, real time, on 1 24, 2013. The time is 12.49 Eastern. In this e mini trade, filled at 14.93.25 at 12.31 p.m. Eastern, 50 contracts short. I have Fred C. with me. fellow trader in the room watching it minute by minute as this trade unfolds. Next internal level on the shaking is here. Apex is here, right here on the through. MACD, the disparity between the MACD and the signal line is widening in our favor. Stock Essex has a lot of room to go. Get back to internal levels here. Let's outline by this through. And literally, no resistance all the way back down to here at that level. We'll see how the indicator reacts at this level. The prices continue to trade to the downside. All quiet environment trading in real time and time marked the market. 1251 Eastern, 124, 2013. Price 1490.75 and holding. We need more volume. We need this, this, 8,000, 7,000, 9,000, 10,000 contracts on a sell to get through this level to get down to the price profit point that we are looking for. Trade is in progress. Okay, now we're thinning out here on the 15, moving to the downside. Disparity is greater, thinning down, thinning down. I like that. More strength for the move to the downside. Here's Chaikin. Disparity is the same. Stochastics the same. Getting to the lower 
area of this level again as outlined by these two most recent bars to get through to the downside for the second leg of the trade to hit the price profit target. Those bars were laid out by the close of 1240 after the gap to the downside. And again, 1241, we're here hitting it now. I'd like to see some volume at this level to get through here for the additional move to the downside. In the one minute bar as we speak, traded 4,500, 4,535, 46, 48, coming in. Next bar. Twelve fifty three PM Eastern Standard Time, seven minutes. Until this fifteen minute bar closes out and we begin a next. Disparities wide, positive in our favor. Stochastic is a perfect position to move to continue to move to the downside interior internal resistance level laid out right here at this through. The value is 196872 by that through. Again, looking hard and fast at the one minute chart. Trend line has been established. Price profit target 1489.50. Right here, broadcast it out by the 15 minute charts now overlaid onto the one minute. Here we are trading short in many futures. Price is 1491 flat, 1490.75. Have <clears throat> yeah, a little bit of resistance at the top side if we. Nix the blow off here in a one minute chart. We have one, two, three, four, five, six different data points, all within a newly formed trading range on a one minute chart from here to here. <clears throat> it is possible that this trend line broadcasted out now into the future, which I'm going to do right now. And where this meets could be the point where prices will either trade to the downside if they do trade up. That would be an area for most traders to get out if they're not going to stay in the trade, but they're giving a lot back after being in, uh, being in here at 12.31. I need the volume to come in to get through this floor. <clears throat> That's what we're waiting. We are waiting for this volume to come in to get through this floor, get to this price profit target 1489.50. Current trading channel established on the one minute chart right here. Twenty seven minutes into the trade. Fred, we're all fortunate today that we have a winning trade in play, and we're especially fortunate that we have you here with us to see it actually happen. This is what we always work for when, you know, we're studying together, right? And yes. In hopes that this will happen at the time that we're studying together. I actually didn't have to meet with Fred until this afternoon, but Fred's been working so darn hard, and so have I with him, that I called him when he was leaving the gym. How long did it take you to get home, Fred? Fifteen minutes. And what did you do when you walked in the door? 
set up my computer. <laughs> what was your first reaction when you took a look at the 15-minute charts and then the one minute? Uh, I knew that something was in play because I, I can see a chart on my phone. Not, not an accurate one, but at least I could see something was going on. And as soon as I sat at my dis desk, I knew it was exactly what we were looking for. We were still waiting for the uh, MACD and the EMAs to cross. I think that screen is a little small on your cell. <laughs> yes, it is, but you can get some idea. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm laughing because I, I have several friends, traders, that, uh, that do the same thing. I've tried it. <laughs> My eyes are not that good. So here we have a close below the level that we're looking for. We don't have the volume as Kitman, so that's even more positive in our favor because it's trading down without the additional volume. The close below this level right here is what we've been waiting for. At 1490.50, there you have it, quarter point below. If we get some more volume in here like this, this, or this, after this trading channel has been stayed because of low volume and the previous level being hit now from the trade to the downside, um, it will give us an excellent reason to stay in this trade and hit our price profit target. That's what we want. Any trade that we take here, here's the volume, here it's coming in right now, look at it. Now that is amazing in real time. Here it comes. Anytime we take a trade here uh, using the smart me methodology that we teach and that we, we use every single day to trade this S&P mini market, all of our trades are only taken on the basis of being a true high probability trade. Now there's a lot of elements to that. It's a combination of the end of day levels, knowing where you stand every day in the U.S. markets. Uh, combined with here we are at the price profit target, ready to get out of the trade on a rally. Getting out. Getting out. Looking for that 14. Looking for that 1489.50. Here we go. Come on. Out. Getting out. That's it. Get out at 1489.75. Filled. I love lightning execution. Confirmed. This trade may trade down further. There is a strong possibility it can, but what we did here was we, I want to continue to talk about what I was going through a minute ago here, that every trader we take is only a true high probability trade or not. There are certain levels, you know, for that high probability trade. They begin at a 6, they go to a 7, 8, a 9, and a 10. Now, this high probability trade, categorically speaking, was at a level 8. And this is why 50 contracts were traded. 50. So there we have it. And uh, Fred, you got your calculator there? I don't need one. It's close no. to $10,000 profit. There you go. So we're in 1493.25. 1493.25 minus the lower level that was laid out on the 15 minute short at 1489.75. Okay. Gives us a 3.5 move. Let's confirm that again. Three point five 
minus the spread for the rite of passage leaves us with a three point move three points times a fifty dollar gain for every full point move is a hundred fifty dollar per contract gain confirmed times fifty contracts $7,500 we walk with for the day. Good paycheck. Not a bad paycheck. Now, the important thing that I want to uh, talk about here, we should probably put this in here. We'll have all the stats for the nightly market intelligence report, but this video is probably going to go to YouTube. So we have 50 contracts. <clears throat> Confirmed. Here we have it. Now, what's interesting about this price profit target, now it looks like we're going to trade lower, but we don't have any volume here at this time. We had the volume. It acted as a reason to stay in the trade when it got through here. Okay. As soon as it hit this level at 1489.50, it started to trade back up didn't it and this yes. is why yeah and that's exactly why we got out of this trade as fast as we could oscillating between here and here for the out at 1489.75 only a quarter of a point up from the price profit target people find it hard to believe that I could trade this accurately and that I do they don't fully connect with the precision that surrounds the preferred execution for the in and the out so you get the best possible fill on the in because you've chosen the optimum entry and the best possible out based on hitting the price profit target on a rally and you get the heck out of the position and you lock in your profit and that's exactly what we did this trade trades down another couple points I don't care I just locked in seventy five hundred dollars in a very short period of time and there's the actual proof recorded in real time Fred's here with me Another excellent demonstration of trading uh, with the smart money. So, Fred, I'm going to end this recording here. Uh, for anyone that's interested in how to do this, it all begins with learning how to know where you stand every day in the U.S. markets. And you begin with subscribing to the Nightly Market Intelligence Report. We have a trial and then a monthly fee that's extremely reasonable as compared to anybody uh, else out there. We also have an expert market timing course and we have an S&P 500 elite trader training course uh, which Fred has taken by the way. So to all of you who are viewing this video here's all the success to your trading and we'll see you on the next nightly market intelligence report and your future studies here at the Inside Technician.